Shalom. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Rakakadash. We do honor to our apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. Salutation, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, faith based Israelite people of Negro and Indian descent, Israelite foreigners in Aqua, the women. Humbling themselves to escape the pollutions of this world. Okay, here we go with these Israelite, oh, those other Israelite groups are still in it. You know, it's all about that image. It's all about the image and how they look. You know, it's all about pleasing men. You know, uh, grab me a couple of things here. It's all about pleasing men, you know, it's just like, it's being approached in the mindset of a, a nigga with trying to gain a bunch of jewelry and nice shoes and fly clothing just to attract women. And it's the same mindset, you know, and it has nothing to do with righteousness. It has nothing to do with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, any of these works. Any of these things. So here it is getting starting to get cold outside. You see uh I U I C and I U I C I S U P K or whatever. You know, they turn they, they got the uh the fireplace blaring and the heat turned up and all cozied up inside. Out, out there on those highways and the byways. This is straight up madness. This is like I said, this is nothing. This is not the works. This is not works. You know. Look, I have my fringes on. Look, look at me. Look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> people are a joke, man. People are silly. You know, these people are silly. Okay. Um it says. Let me find this scripture. They're only concerned about men looking at them. Um, this is Sharat 23. Um, Um, 23 and 16, two sorts of men multiply sin, and the third will bring wrath. A hot mind is as a burning fire. It will never be quenched till it be consumed. A fornicator in the body of his flesh will never cease till he have kindled a fire. It says, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness, the walls cover me, and no body seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High would not remember my sins. Such a man only fear the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord power are ten thousand times brighter than that of the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. You know, that's pretty much what they're doing there. They're trying to please the eyes of men. You know, none of this is Yahweh, but from Yahweh Shah. Check this one out. <laughs> it says, wear your beard. It's the law. But what about the beautiful dreadlock? <laughs> what about the beautiful dreadlock? You see that there? See, they bring, they accept anyone and anybody in their camps. You know, you got to keep it 100. That's the whole point. You know, the scripture says uh, um, in Corinthians, speaking of long hair, let me grab this here. Um, let me grab it on here. 
speaking about long hair. So I remember the scriptures coming to mind, do as they say, but not as they do. <laughs> First Corinthians 11 and 14 says, does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto you. It's just little things, but he's not little things. It's the word of the Lord. But it's these things that are that stick out amongst the wicked. That they over, totally overlook it and in, 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 in how they justify it. And they even actually try to use descriptions to justify it, you know. It's, but like I said, it's the little things. It's these small things, you know. There's little detailed things, you know, just like women. These women, it's a, the glory of a woman is her is her hair. So you trying to tell me the glory of these men with long hair is glorious as well? You know, rocking the beard with, uh, uh, you know, long hair, where the scripture says it is, a, it is a shame unto him. It's a shame unto him, you know. <laughs> a shame. That word shame in the Greek is um atimia. Um meaning dishonor or disgrace or ignominy. Dishonor and disgrace. You know? It's a dishonor and disgrace, same as not having a beard, having long hair. So they're straddling the fence. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're straddling the fence. <laughs> but it's all about the cheddar. It's all about the cheddar. Fear and faith can't coexist. What's required of y'all? He, what, what he, what, uh, as far as concerning um, uh, the, the book of Proverbs. Uh, first of all, the book of Proverbs, or um, let me give me one of these. Let me grab one of these here. Fear and faith can't coexist. What do they mean by that? You know, what do they mean by that? Are they 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 fearing the cold weather? They're fearing the change of weather. So what do they mean by that? <laughs> Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. These are fools that despise wisdom and instruction. You know, these are fools. Grab this here. Page is all been up. Been up here. Okay, here we go. Um, um let's get Psalms one eleven. Psalms 111. It says this here. Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do the commandments. His praise endureth forever. <laughs> So what do they mean by fear? They're not afraid of Esau. Is that why they're teaching that Esau can be delivered? There's actually some of those groups are actually t teaching that Esau is going to be in the kingdom of heaven side by side with us. You know, they don't prophesy the, de the destruction of this goddamn devil and so on and so on, man. You know, so on and so on. But like I said, this is all about 
This is all about the outward appearance. This is all about the outward appearance. You know, it's all about looking good, shining. Who shining? <laughs> uh, uh, Jeremiah. They shine. They overpass the deeds of the wicked, and yes, they do. You know, they spend more energy and more time attacking the true men of the Lord than actually attacking the goddamn devil. You know. <laughs> find this here here we go just keep strolling through it and there was more a lot more than than just this there's a lot more than just this there's a lot more they're, they're getting paid now you know they're getting paid it's all about that cheddar it says this in jeremiah Five and twenty-six. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait, as he that set his snares. They set a trap. They catch men. And this is an example of a snare, a trap. You know. They uh, um, cater into the, um, the, uh, the the lust of men. You know, the lustful desires of men to look good. So this is just, a, just another form of a trap. You know, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. You know, the, yet they prosper and the right of the needy do they not judge. And the thing is, they, you know, and where these were a fool. Is uh, 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 where a fool, uh, another stumbling block to a fool is the multitude, the masses, the large numbers, and you know, and the scriptures clearly say, "Follow not a multitude to do riches." And another thing that come to mind, or another scripture that come to mind, let me get this in the book of Matthew's. Um, let me see if I can find this. Is it eight? No. Yeah, so I can. Oh well. That's the spirit that just gave me this in seven, so I'm gonna come back to that. Find the scripture. Find the scripture. Taking a minute, just hold on. In thy affliction, be ye patient. <laughs> patient, just trying to find the scripture. Here we go. It is um, um, it's it is seven, Matthew seven. Um, um, Matthew seven and twelve. Therefore, all things whatsoever. Ye will that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law of the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Okay, and broad is those masses of people, the churches. And, and, and IUIC is one of the main ones that falls under that church category where they're under that 501c3 tax exempt, you know? All right, so let me do this instead. Let me do this instead. Let me go to this um, uh, go to the blue letter here concerning the scripture here. Okay. Where was I at? 13, scripture 13, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay. And broad, meaning 
broad meaning wide. First, let's go to Y, that T's. Come on, baby. Okay, broad. Wide is just another way of saying broad. Okay, let's go to broad. Wide is the gate. Is the gate in broad? Broad. Strong's G, 2149. Yeruharas. Yeruharas. Spacious and broad, it says. Okay. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate. The difficult path is the gate to go, you know? The difficult path is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto light, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Listen, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. <laughs> What's the social security number? Pay your tights. <laughs> you know, if your wife ain't in the truth, you know, you, you got to leave her. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. He said, it says, as you shall know them by their fruits, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. The Most High is going to break this house up, man. He's going to break the house of Saul up, I-U-I-C. He's going to destroy them. You know, and we're going to witness it. Lord willing, we're going to witness it before this destruction comes. We're going to witness the house, the house of Saul completely collapse, man. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth good fruits is hewed down. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Not working at all. The only time they working is when they gathering in the masses to, and, and marching, you know. Wherefore, and they take a lot of time off. That's the thing, man, taking a whole lot of time off. They're doing their own thing. Wherefore, by the fruits, you shall know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. You know, this is all about the cheddar. It's all about the cheddar. Isaiah, what's the book of Isaiah says? Uh, it says, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? The book of Isaiah is one of my favorites, too. Mm. Trying to fight this headache, not kicking in. Lord willing, they won't. Lord willing, they have mercy on me. Okay, let me find this scripture. I'm ending with these last two here. It might be a 50. Let me look it up. Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. You know, they're barking for you to wear their apparel. And, and this is nothing. Nothing about this apparel is being um, uh, wise as a serpent. You know, because that time comes where we're going to have to be um you know, we're going to have to be wise where at times come this devil's going to be looking to gather the children of Israel, you know, just like they did with the, the fires of Rome, which is another topic, another video in itself. That time's coming where that same thing they did with the fires of Rome, they're going to do now. They're going to blame us for it, but you're going to be walking around with your uh, fringes on then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> fools you know it says this in verse 11 yea they are greedy dogs which can never have enough 
and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his, for his gain, from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. As long as you go out there and sell my oils and sell my shirts, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to close with this last scripture here. It's in the book of John. Um, let me pull it up here. Here we go. It's in the book of John. I know it's in the book of John. Here we go. John 2. And this is exactly what the Lord's going to do again. He's going to give you all a spiritual ass whooping. John 2, 13, the Jews... Passover was at hand, and Yahushua went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. So Yahushua was heavily, highly offended. You know, you don't think he's offended by these types of works, man? Of course he is. He's disgusted by this type of work. And besides, it don't even look right. You know, it literally doesn't even look right. You can wear fringes on your coat and all you want, you know. And we can't say it's not lawful. <laughs> but the thing is, man, it don't even look right. It doesn't carry the right spirit. It doesn't carry the right spirit, you know. Unfortunately, it doesn't carry the right spirit. You know, but the Lord is disgusted by it, man. And, it, and, it, and, it, and he hasn't changed, you know. What's this just to say about the Lord? Uh, and I think it's Hebrews. Uh, Yahweh shot the same yesterday, today, and forever. Some of that, that same extent. Uh, 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 some of that extent. It says this. And he said unto them that so doves, take these things hence. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. You know, not make not my father's house. And they're trying to come in the, uh, that's in that that uh, the Hebrew Israelite. You know, they don't even use the the name of the Lord. You know, but they're, they're fronting as if they are. You know. So hopefully, uh, till next time, Lord willing, shalom.